Hey everybody, welcome back to my vlog for today. Uh, hope you're all doing well as usual. Um, today is Saturday, which means it's rants. Rants day. Um, I had a hard time coming up with something to rant about, but I thought of something that really bothers me. Um, and that's just the, um, I guess you could say, influence that um, people who have a higher status in life um, have over the ma vast majority of people in the country. Um, by that I mean, um, you know, if two people say the same thing, one person's famous, one person's not, um, they're not going to listen to the average Joe. And, you know, the average Joe is the majority of this country. Uh, that's why there's, you know, the one percenters. And, you know, then there's the rest of us. Um, it really bothers me that somebody has to be in a position of power or a certain status in life for people to listen to them. Um, I think that, um, you know, we should be better represented by people who aren't out of touch with, you know, like, like situations like living paycheck to paycheck. Um, you know, a lot of those people who run um, don't have that issue. And um, I think that it's it would be great if you know there was better representation for people who do live like that, um, which is a, which is you know the vast majority of people out there, um, a lot of people living paycheck to paycheck or whatever you know. Um, so it's just like it, that really bothers me though. It's just you know unless you're a celebrity or you're in a position of power, you don't have a voice really. And you say oh yeah well you can vote. Well, we don't even know if we can vote anymore at this point. I, I don't pay attention to politics too much, but um, it seems like there was just even issues with voting. So, does our vote really count? I don't know. Um, I don't. Uh, I don't really pay attention to politics that much. Um, but um, you know, it's just it's not even about even uh, talking about politicians or anything. I'm talking about like celebrities versus you know, Joe Schmo, you know, um, you know, sports, you know, high, highly regarded athletes against, again, Joe Schmo, you know, who's going to listen to who, you know, um, you know, just because somebody is at a different status in life, the majority tend, tends to grasp, gravitate towards that person, and I think that's what needs to change is just because somebody's famous and does something doesn't mean everyone else should, you know, follow suit. Um, you know, there's there's been celebrities and famous people out there who said things they didn't mean to say, and it's just like, you know, they pay the consequence for it. Um, and then you got people who are who back people, um, you know, back famous people for. I and mean, there's a lot of people out there who do a lot of good, obviously. I'm not just focusing on the negative, but I'm just saying that. Um, I don't like the fact that, you know, if you're Joe Schmo, you don't really have much of a voice. And, um, you know, it, it just, I don't know, it just always bugged me. Like if, like I, like I said, if someone famous said something profound and some Joe Schmo said it first, no one's going to pay attention to Joe Schmo. They're going to listen to the celebrity or the athlete or the, you know, whoever. Um, so, you know, it's just... I think it's great that we have um, platforms such as Facebook and you know YouTube, where we can do things like I'm doing now and you get our voices heard, and um, you know it's just every little bit counts. You know the more we spread the word about what we feel is right and what we feel is wrong, uh, the better. Um, I mean it's 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 our only it's our only way of really getting our voices out there is stuff like this. I mean. Um, you know, just using Facebook and Twitter even, I mean, the freaking president uses Twitter, like, more than, I don't know, more than he probably should. It's, it's kind of strange that a president would tweet so much, but, um, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like, uh, you know, he's out of touch and doesn't care about the vast majority of uh, people because... He doesn't have to worry about anything. He's got enough money. He can do whatever he wants, and he, that's exactly what he's doing. Is whatever he wants. Um, so, you know, that's the other thing too. Is if somebody has a lot of money, people are gonna listen to them too. But I mean, it's just uh, 
you know, it, it just comes down to, like I said, representation and, um, you know, just finding somebody who can get our voices out there or have more people at this level get your voice at, voices out there. And uh, I think that would help tremendously instead of just listening to celebrities just because they're celebrities and, you know, athletes just because they're athletes, you know. It's like you can ask, you know, I'm, I don't know how to word it, but the point is you don't got to jump off the bridge just because, you know, a celebrity said to do this, that, or the other thing. You know, their, their status in life is what dictates what a lot of people do with their life. Um, you know, and that's, I feel like there's a lot of famous people out there who should be setting better examples, um, especially as far as kids go. Um, you know, with all these scandals going on now, um, well, that's a whole other topic to get into on another day. So, um, but like I said, it just bothers me that, uh, you know, we don't get more of a say, and that's why we got to, you know, band together and, um, you know, talk about what's right and what's wrong. And, uh, you know, especially like something like with mental illness, like I have a mental illness, and I'm trying to do my best as a, to be an advocate for mental illness and, and get the word out there and try to cure the stigma for it. You know, it's tough to do, but having a platform like YouTube, I can explain stuff to people and I can teach people about having a mental illness and what it's like to be schizoaffective and have the schizoaffective bipolar disorder. Um, it's a very stressful life. Um, yeah, I mean, it comes down to, you know, I get paranoid a lot. Um, I'm always tired. Um, I just... I don't know. It's tough. I mean, I've I've had a lot of issues in my life um, because of my mental illness, and I'm, I'm facing one right now. And um, you know, that's just something that somebody of uh, somebody of more power or more more uh, higher status wouldn't talk about. You know, they're not going to talk about mental illness and how we can treat it better. So that's why people like me and people like a lot of people who. I'm assuming who watch any of my videos would agree with me upon is that we all need to help cure that stigma and um, you know that's just not a topic you hear people talking about and if you do hear somebody talk about like it's it's like if some actor or actress has like depression or something it's like it's a major story when they don't know that there's people out there suffering from way worse depression than they have and you know but because they're a celebrity you know, they look into it more and they take it more to heart. So that's the other thing that bothers me too, that, that being a celebrity, uh, mental illness means more if you're a celebrity as opposed to a regular person. That's not fair. Um, I think that everybody should be looked at the same and um, just because of your status in life, you know, it's like you know, there's so many people out there who are suffering from mental illness who aren't celebrities or aren't any kind of famous type of person. And um, I, th I feel like their stories need to be heard more too. Not just because of uh, some celebrity, but because they need to come out on their own volition and uh, talk about it. So that's it for me for today. Um, I, think that, uh, I think that I covered everything I wanted to cover. Uh, bottom line, bottom line of the rant was that we need to have more people in the position of, uh, you know, being, being in the, how can I say it? There needs to be more people out there to represent the vast majority better than what's being done now. And, um, stuff like mental illness needs to be talked about more. And it bothers me, like I said, when a celebrity gets depressed or something, it's, I, all I can think of is yeah, try living with schizoaffective disorder, see how you feel then, you know, and it's just, they get, they, a celebrity gets a mental illness issues, they, they go on talk shows and, you know, morning shows and all that to talk about it. And everybody ha listens to what they have to say about it just because they're a celebrity. I bet you, you can go outside and grab a handful of people who are dealing with issues way worse 
I'm not I'm not downplaying some you know famous people's illness or anything like that, but they they make it such a big deal when there's people out there who are suffering more, who need more help than what they are probably able to get. So that's it for my rant for now. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what your your thoughts and feelings are on this subject. Uh, I appreciate it. I also like the back and forth I have with some people who would leave comments for me. I um, look forward to that. Um, so that's it for me for now. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.